Hi, I'm Ben Stevenson from journeytothecloud.com for another episode of Cloud Corner. Uh, we have the great privilege today to be joined by Ben Sawyer, Solutions Engineer at Green Pages. Uh, we're going to talk automation and orchestration with Ben, uh, who's an expert in that field, and try to give some, uh, some good feedback and insight uh, onto how that can help you and your business uh, succeed. So, Ben, how are we doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, so, to start off, there's a couple cool news stories uh, this week in the technology field. So, which did you think was cooler, uh, Felix breaking the sound bar barrier or the, four, the planet that was found with four suns? Sound bear, I think, is pretty cool. The, the one thing I liked about it, actually, is when he went up, they said he was claustrophobic and took months to fight that fear. So there's sort of an irony that the fear of heights wasn't a big deal. Yeah. At 100-plus uh, miles, it was the fear of uh, confined spaces. So yeah, would have thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so to dive into it, could you just give us a quick overview of automation and orchestration for those who may not be uh, extremely familiar with the topic? Yeah, you bet. So automation, uh, basically one of the tenants is uh, human repeatable tasks. So you take something that people do today, uh, you use computers, you use software to uh, make it go quickly, more quickly, if you will. Orchestration is just gluing together all those automated tasks in a specific order. Yeah, and you always hear automation and orchestration in the same sentence. So I guess my question is, can, can they live by themselves? Can one live without the other? Uh, you know, if you have automation without orchestration, is that better than not having anything at all? Uh, yes, so they can live without each other. Automation, more often in the real world, lives by itself, if you will. So there might be a couple tasks that someone wants to improve, make more efficient. Uh, so you can kind of do them as one-offs. For a true business value, though, processes that you know any business runs are complex, so take a lot of little tasks together, uh, and that's where orchestration kicks in. It's that ability to know when to fire those automated tasks, and if they can fire at the same time or one at a time. So orchestration by itself doesn't really make sense because there's nothing okay. uh, it's supposed to do. Right, and to be in a, uh, in a full cloud environment, I believe uh, Trevor Williamson, Chris Ward, they've stated in the past that you need both the automated and orchestration pieces in there to really operate in, right. a, in a full cloud environment. Yeah. Um, again, when we talk about cloud, we have basically a lot of systems working together. We have storage, security, uh, many different vendors constantly changing. So something has to glue them all together. Yep. Something has to know how to talk to them. Automation is that way to do so. And could you give us just uh, maybe a real life example, um, not even technology related, just an everyday example of, of orchestration and, and automation and, and how, just to give us a better idea of, of how it works in business, but, but just to give us a yeah. simple example. Uh, so the key with automation is again, any process you want to make it go as quickly as possible and wherever possible have processes execute at the same time. Uh, the only way you can do that at the same time is if the task that currently is executing doesn't depend on the outcome of another task. So if we use a simple example of getting up in the morning and taking a shower and shaving and whatnot, um, let's say you had many, many arms. You could wash your hair. You could wash your body um, at the same time, technically, right? So those all could be done at the same time. Um, but you can only towel off, right? That has to happen after everything's done. Uh, if you shave, you want to put on shaving cream first. Uh, and then you can shave second, right? You can't do the same at both times. And if you put aftershave on, you can do that only after you shave. So uh, again, they, they, the way to do it is all these tasks, you want to squeeze them down uh, vertically so that more are happening horizontally at the same time. So again, like anyone getting ready in the morning, you want to get out as quickly as you can. So multitasking, if you will, mm -hmm. is sort of doing things all at the same time. So it's all about stringing together the business processes to really be as efficient as it, and effective as possible. Yeah, exactly. And I think as I've found out in the real world, uh, there are many things that happen that can happen at the same time, especially you know when these are manual tasks that people have to do. Um, and there could be a lot of times when I do something and I call Bob to do something and Bob calls Jane. Uh, technically, Bob, Jane, and, and Ben can do them all at the same time. So that's uh, when you get into a business, the hardest part and most valuable is figuring out how they do it today. Right, because you can't make it better tomorrow if we don't know what they're doing today. Excellent. Uh, and I understand that uh, some people at Green Pages will be participating in a No Shave November, which is coming up. Will you be uh, a participant? Yes, I was the first to do it. It's like my rally beard, you know, with the Red Sox uh, in yes, 04. Yes, so yes. Uh, I don't know what my condition is uh, when I will not shave it. It will either be 
my wife or maybe some project related goal will set here. Yes, so. yes. Well, we'll have to get you on video after. after absolutely. The month of absolutely. Uh, but thank you very much, Ben, for joining us. Uh, I think that was extremely helpful and informative, and uh, we'll definitely come out with another episode of Cloud Corner uh, as soon as possible. Uh, remember to check us out on journeythecloud.com. Follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at GreenPagesIT uh, to hear more from Ben and our other GreenPages experts. Thanks. <laughs>